I grew up in the heart of the Bay Area, in a region located just above an area known as Silicon Valley, where some of the largest tech companies in the world are headquartered. And growing up, I never really realized the significance of the area I grew up in until later in life. People from all over the world move here to be at the center of the technology world. And although other tech hubs in the United States, such as Seattle, Austin, New York, Washington DC, have tried to replicate Silicon Valley's success, none of them have come close to its scale and influence. And now that I work in the industry, a question that I get often, why don't I live in Silicon Valley? It's a reasonable question. And at this point of my life, it is a conscious choice that I'm making. I am fortunate enough to have enough experience so far that I can choose to work in other areas or remotely. But regardless, this is my story about why I don't live in Silicon Valley. I was raised in Fremont, California, which is where I spent most of my childhood. And it wasn't until high school that I realized the significance of the area that we lived. I went to a very strange and unique high school that had a very heavy focus on academics. Everywhere you looked, you had kids that wanted to be software engineers, learning how to code, building web applications, and even creating startups, all while in high school. And while those interests seem to be much more common now, in 2009 to 2012, it was rare to find such a heavy concentration of people who were focused on software. Living so close to Silicon Valley, there was a deep connection to the technology industry. And in this environment, I began to slowly fall in love with the profession and the energy of the people around me. UC Berkeley, one of the top computer science schools in the nation, was just 30 minutes away from my high school. And people who graduated from there with a computer science degree had their pick of thousands of top tech companies to work for. In high school, I still remember watching one of my friends coding. And I was looking at him like he was some sort of magician. It was during break and he was sitting there coding an iOS application so that he could put it on his college applications. And I just saw him sitting there, his fingers typing away, locked in, hyper-focused, while the rest of us were playing cards at a nearby table. I didn't understand what he was doing, but I wanted to be a part of it. I was obsessed in getting into colleges like UC Berkeley because that's where all my friends wanted to go. I felt like if I went there, I would be able to fit in, talk technology and software all the time, work on building web applications in my spare time, and hopefully land a job at a top tech company after graduation. But of course, if you know about me and my story, I did not get into Berkeley or any other really notable university in the Bay Area. I just didn't really have the GPA or the work ethic to make it there. And instead, I went to school all the way in Irvine, California, far away from Silicon Valley, where I wanted to be. And when I first arrived there, I was extremely unhappy. Being so far from where all the advancements in software were happening, I felt disconnected from this industry that I had grown to love in high school. The people here, they just didn't really seem to care about tech as much as I did. But during college, my priorities did shift away from getting jobs and software for better or for worse. But after graduation, when I was finally able to secure a job as a software engineer, I slowly felt my love for the profession creeping back into my life. And I slowly became more passionate and motivated at my job over the years. I would spend a lot of my free time learning web frameworks or new technologies and daydreaming about working at Silicon Valley tech companies in big, beautiful buildings and high rises, cool art, nice amenities. I thought about all the conversations about technology I could have with other like-minded people at the companies I worked for. And it really wasn't until the middle of 2019 when I finally started to take my career seriously and focus on breaking into Silicon Valley tech. And as you might know, I accepted a job to work at Intuit in 2020 at the San Diego location. And this was my first taste into life working at a Silicon Valley company because I knew the headquarters of this company were based in Mountain View, California. And I had my sights on one day transferring to the headquarters location to finally experience what it was like working in the Bay. And that is where my idealistic version of this place started to end. To give some context, when I was living in Fremont for most of my high school life, I was not commuting to where all the big tech software companies were. I was sitting at home within a three mile radius of my high school campus because I didn't have a car, there was no public transportation. I could only get to where my legs and my bike 
could take me. Which led me into the first heavy realization of this place. Silicon Valley is extremely suburban. Silicon Valley is supposed to be a beacon of technology and the future that America strives to be. There should be affordable housing, high rises with apartment complexes, walkable cities, a sprawling subway infrastructure to connect all the different parts of the Bay together. In reality, most of the Bay Area is simply just one big giant suburb. And that is disappointing. I remember during my time at Intuit, I went to go visit the headquarters based in Mountain View, just down the street from Google's headquarters. And as I walked around the campus itself, it was breathtaking. It looked like an amazing college campus with beautiful trees, modern buildings, impressive interior design. But as I left the company campus and drove into the city of Mountain View, I was pretty disappointed to see that it looked like any other American suburb. Neighborhood after neighborhood with single family homes, no public transportation, and no large apartment buildings. It was just houses upon houses. It's not a technology focused city. It's a normal family oriented city that happens to contain massive technology companies, which is a nice segue into the next part. San Francisco is one of my least favorite cities in the country. Even as a kid growing up in the Bay Area, I never found myself drawn to San Francisco. Whenever I occasionally took BART into the city with my family, I always felt deeply underwhelmed by what I saw. While compared to other major US cities, San Francisco has pretty decent public transportation. Nothing about it is world class. On top of that, the city has perpetually gloomy weather about 65 degrees and gloomy all year round. But most importantly, San Francisco never had the energy of a city that I expected. It's something that's pretty difficult to quantify, but the city itself only has about 800,000 people, which for a city is a very small amount. I think the city's small size and very hilly terrain make it difficult to develop real estate on. But as a result, the cost of living in the city is ridiculously high. And as such, most people working in the city do not live there. They simply live in other parts of the Bay and commute in daily. This really makes the city feel like a shell a lot of the time, where when you come visit, it really doesn't seem like people are living and thriving. The first time I visited New York City, I felt something completely different. The city was just so full of energy. You could tell that people lived, worked, and all had their own goals within the bounds of this city. It just gave off a very energizing atmosphere seven days a week, which by comparison, I could not get from San Francisco. I used to wonder if my dislike of this place was due to a grass is greener mentality because it was so close to my hometown and where I grew up. But over time, I've come to realize that this just isn't the city for me. Another major reason why I don't live in Silicon Valley is people talking about software and technology 24 seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't I just say I loved talking about tech? For a long time, talking about technology was all I wanted to do. I thought people creating software and web applications were the coolest people on the planet. In college, all I wanted to do was talk about tech. And after college, I focused on studying and improving my skills in this career. But now I hate spending all my time talking about software and technology. It's not enough for me to quit software entirely. I still enjoy aspects of this profession, but I definitely want to just treat it as a job and spend my time outside of work doing other things. Many people in tech, they make it their whole life. They work in tech, moonlight on the side, learn new technologies and spend their weekends networking. I respect the hustle and I respect anyone who does that to further their career or to start a company or anything. But it's not for me. Whenever I go to the Bay Area and I talk to people at coffee shops, on BART, in Ubers, at music festivals, they are always talking about technology and software. They ask you where you work, what kind of technologies you work with. Some people might even ask how much money you make. And outside of that, a lot of conversations just seem to revolve around some blog posts about a new technology that's about to change the whole industry or about some startup that just got acquired that's going to change the world or something. It is overwhelming sometimes. A few years ago, I would have loved this kind of conversation, but now I can't do it anymore. But in Silicon Valley, this drive and mentality to integrate work and life are 
inescapable. While I've spent most of this video talking about the downsides of working in Silicon Valley, I don't want to ignore the many positive aspects of living there. One of the major benefits is the incredible opportunity to further your career. There are thousands of companies to work for, people to network with, and there is just massive potential for your salary to skyrocket in just a couple of years working there. And also with thousands of other like-minded young people in the area, all trying to build successful companies and advance their own careers, there is really no better place to hustle and to achieve your goals in tech. 